Category 5 TV with Hillary Rumble, Krista Wells, Eric Kidd, Rachel Zhu, and Robbie Ferguson. And now, here's a clip from Category 5 Technology TV. Brought to you by EcoAlkaline's Environmentally Responsible Batteries, cat5.tv slash eco. Krista likes to spend a lot of money because she has I don't lots like of disposable to. income. Oh, <laughs> Tons of disposable income. So when it comes to mm -hmm. a $1,000 piece of software, oh. it, it, oh, yeah, you know, sure. When you say disposable income, you mean you just you throw mean it away. Pain instead of my mortgage, right? Like sure. Like okay. like let's buy That's, some yeah. expensive software. Mm -hmm. In rupees, it's like 10 giga rupees. <laughs> I don't know. You'll have to That's Google accurate, it. Accurate, yeah. Thanks, That's Agamotto. Good. That's his curveball. He makes fun of me with my pounds. My what if there's... No, but seriously, there are alternatives. Just like, you know, if you're running a Windows computer, you can download Linux. It's free. You can install it on your computer. It becomes your operating system. And you're no longer bound by licensing costs, virus protection costs, all this kind of stuff, mm -hmm. right? Similarly, if you use Photoshop or you're thinking about getting Photoshop... There are alternatives. One of the best being GNU Image Manipulation Program. So when I say the GIMP, I'm referring to GNU Image Manipulation Program. It's free. Works on Linux. So hey, if you're running Linux, awesome. But maybe you're not running Linux. You might be on Windows or Mac. It works on those too. It's free for you too. You don't have to run Linux. Okay. I'm not. I'm not. Argue. Well, I am arguing. But you're always but arguing. I agree. I just say yes. it's very um, coincidental. It happens to be on my week. It just happens That's to all. be. I thought you'd be interested because you're all graphic designer i I'm all what? I'm sorry? A graphic designer -y. It's more like that, wasn't it? Yeah, I was like... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. That, that I'm was, excited, though. Yeah, okay. That was jazz hands. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I, do I was trying to make a point that you're very jazzy. Anyway. Mm -hmm. There it is. <laughs> Gimp.org. Get it for free, okay? It's fantastic. We're going to look at it in just a moment. Let's grab a picture off of our website. And shouts out to Bitsprocket tonight, who said, I'd love to learn a little bit more about some of the plugins that are available for GIMP. So we're going to look at an alternative to Photoshop's Liquify plugin, which basically allows you to stretch the image in weird kind of ways. I'm going to go to our photo gallery. Let's see if we can find a, an embarrassing picture of Krista. Mm, I'm sure there's a few. Our photo gallery is available on our website, category5.tv. Let's see what we have. I'll show you a cool feature of the GIMP, too. Here I am on our Flickr gallery. I'm going to right-click on the image and copy image URL. Let's bring up the GIMP. Okay. Right-click, file, open location, paste the URL. And it actually downloads it so we didn't have to save it on our computer. So Bitsprocket, there are so many cool filters that are available for the GIMP. If you right click on your image, go filters, and you'll see there are a ton of different things. Okay? You can do all different kinds of things real quick. Like if I want to duplicate that layer, filter, do a Gaussian blur, add a bit of a blur to that image, right? Change it to an overlay, get some kind of, you know. A little bit of, yeah, it just kind of changes the way that the image looks, right? Give it that kind of surreal kind of look. Add another layer. Select feather. I'm doing this real quick because we're not actually learning this tonight. I just want to show you how quickly, when you know your way around, you can do some pretty neat stuff. You see how we just kind of livened up that photo in like just a couple of seconds flat. Ta-da! Ta-da! Right? Okay, so Are you saying my photo was dull? No. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Just <laughs> but there you go. Okay? Keep on your toes. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, I'm going to copy that to my clipboard. I'm going to create a new image. There we go. Okay, so I've got that. All right. Right click and go. Filters. Distorts. I warp. 
So you've used the Liquify plugin for Photoshop, mm -hmm. Photoshop being the commercial alternative, this being a free program here, GNU Image Manipulation Program. So with this iWarp plugin, I can now, you know, totally Krista change. Krista isn't smiling enough. Well, you know, <laughs> come on, girl, put a <laughs> smile on your face. Oh. Am I allowed to do this? Am I going to yeah, get in trouble? No, Kay. no. I guess, well, now that's rude. That is kind of rude, isn't it? <laughs> but here's the kind of stuff that you can do with iWarp. And it is very, very similar to Liquify in Photoshop. Okay. And basically all I'm doing is just grabbing portions of the image, giving it a bit of a stretch. And there you have it. Okay. So I could hit OK and we're done and done. Here's how it one-ups Photoshop. With Photoshop, if I wanted to animate that, I'd have to do a little bit at a time, duplicate the layer. A little bit more, mm -hmm. duplicate the layer, and then save it as an animated GIF. Right? Mm -hmm. With the GIMP, all I have to do is click on Animate up at the top here, turn it on, and let's say we want to make it 25 frames. Okay? We'll do ping pong, and we'll hit OK. What that's going to do, see over on the right, it's creating a whole bunch of layers. So now, not only have we created our warp, but watch this. Filters, animation, playback. There's your picture. I'm going to hit play. <laughs> so you see how easy it is to create a really cool effect. <laughs> Goofy effect in this case. <laughs> I'm just kind of doing it real it's quick. like I have your really bad allergic reaction. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, she drank the soap. <laughs> That tool, I mean, <laughs> you can use it for silly stuff like that. And you've seen images like that where, you know, you stretch somebody's face out and it's hilarious and you can do some pretty funky stuff. But you can also use it to warp backgrounds. You can mm -hmm. make swirls and cool effects. You can also use it to, um, you know, the magazine covers. They use it to slim people and bring up the bust and do all this kind of stuff. All those kinds of uh, effects are created with the liquifier, in this case, the iWarp plugin. So... Very, very cool stuff. So that's one plug-in for you uh, for tonight. I'll close that so it never Thanks. is never seen again. Except that it's, it's on the show forever now. Yes. <laughs> 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 that's the GIMP. It's GNU Image Manipulation Program, and you'll find that online at GIMP.org. Category 5 TV is a production of Prodigy Digital Solutions and is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution 2.5 Canada. Thanks for watching.